actually I graduated of uh, Master of Science and Computer Science. I have my master's degree and then I'm presently teaching at uh, the La Salle University. I'm a digital artist and a freelance photographer and I shoot social and corporate events photography. Love to shoot uh, landscape and wedding, good styling, good photography and 360 VR landscape photography. I'm also a contributor to a various magazine like CNN, Philippine Star, a Wedding, Manila Bulletin, Rapper, etc. Okay, I'm a member of a press and media association of the Philippines, a PIMAP, Press Photographer of the Philippines, and the Federation of Philippine Photographer Foundation, the PEP, or the FP, FPPF. Okay, I'm presently working in advertising and cinema ad making promotion as an EDP and account manager and creative. Okay. So right now, as I said, I'm a part-time part uh, faculty member at the National University Das Marinas and formerly in Malayan Colleges and St. Paul uh, University in Quezon City and Ama Computer University. And but I'm also a member of the uh, various uh, different camera club and digital arts group. I'm advisor of Kabiti Camera Club. Uh, Kabiti by uh, active group and past president of Ringshot Camera Club. I'm, I'm also a member of IDN or International Designer Club Philippines, or uh, which is uh, all a uh, graphic artist designer from mga time ngayon. And an eArt Philippines. Okay, we have a father of three. Uh, all now uh, are, are all professional. And then here's some of my work published in a light light section of a different prime newspaper, magazine, and online website. Here is my uh, travel shoot in uh, Shanghai in a CNN Life. Okay, another from CNN Life in my Shanghai uh, trip. Of, of of course, our trip is uh, sponsored by the. Cebu Pacific. Okay, so Cebu Pacific bring us to, to Shanghai and then with press, of course, and then I'm a photographer. So, so, so um, CNN, photos from CNN and the ABS CBN News. Okay, another one from Shang, uh, Shanghai and Okay, so all of this is in a lifestyle uh, online. Okay, so then another one from from Rappler, of course, uh, our US tour in Guam. Okay, so Manila Bulletin also, our tour in Guam. And then this is actually um, all my recent uh, photos uh, published. Okay, so here uh, from Daily Tribune, the Shanghai. Okay, and some of my international recognition, of course, uh, from International Photography Black and White Group. Uh, a, mas a masterpiece certificate. So from monochrome canvas, uh, and then, so ito, yan yung mga masterpiece. Medyo mabilis, uh, minis ako ng konti ah. So masterpiece uh, from another international photography, black and white. Ito yung mga recent, ah. mga recent uh, cert, uh, award and recognition ko from international. So monochrome canvas actually from uh, Great Britain actually our group it's an international group uh, uh, all in black black and white so I really love to shoot black and white and then I really want to convert some of my photos into black and white so uh, then now here's my uh, portfolio so here is Jeff Gaitan, okay, 
and then Nina during the concert. Okay. This one is three four one oh four. So I, I do also wedding. I tried wedding before and um masyadong marami na sa wedding kaya uh, I'm look for some other photography. So I uh, put photography yung pinuntahan ko. So some of my local travels. Ah uh, Local and abroad, actually. Okay. This, uh, this one is on the beat lang. Uh -huh. Ilocos, Shanghai. I also shoot uh, infrared photography. So I do landscape when I'm bored. For the festival, some of my shooting at festival. Our festival. And some of my food is styling and food photography. Uh, this one is from Cafe Marcelo. Ikabite. Make own creation of and of course I do should still like and thanks up to photography this art like this year a thousand words so thank you uh those are my some of my portfolio guys so i guess you can see all right now so let's start to our basic photography seminar okay can we start to our proper uh, seminar okay uh, people have been keeping visual record of, uh, of themselves and things around during the since the prehistoric times. So here, I Yeah. 
Okay. So, uh, nakita yan, during the prehistoric time, uh, those photos actually share uh, with through message, diba? So, sending us a message, yes, and, uh, and those prehistoric time, hindi naman ganon, no? Bato yung hiyaanap ang selfie. Okay, so let's start. Uh, I give you some some trivia and a little bit of history. Of course, para malaman naman natin about uh, how photography started. Okay, so the word photography came from the two Greek words from pose, meaning light, and craft, lines or drawing. And that means is writing with light or drawing with light. So the first time the word photography was used in, 19, in 1839, the year invention of photography process was made in public by Sir John Herschel. Okay, so during that time, and then the first uh, camera is a camera obscura. Uh, as you can see here, the first camera is just look like one whole uh, room, okay, where you can see the pinhole, the pin holder uh, passing through to the wall, but the printed is actually upside down. So this one is a drawing, uh, then this one is a drawing room, ganito kalaki pa dati mga camera, of course, so the artist go inside to the room and draw the, draw all the lines or the images, but this one is upside down. And then after that, the camera obscura was made portable at this time using the pinhole here and when the light coming through to the glass and then passing through the to the images, it may trace nila yung ano, images. So ginagamit nila ito by tracing uh, into an images. Okay? So that uh, made of a camera obscura. And then the first commercial, uh, commercially available camera is made by Mr. Daguerre. And it called it the Guerrero type. So, say yung, ito yung in first, uh, yung nasa screen, say yung first camera, as you can see, that the Guerrero type images. We were in, dun sa glass na yun, yung nasa likod, dun yung binilalagay yung paper to print right away the paper. Of course, the process of the paper, uh, the printing, it takes time to produce. Okay? And then after that, uh, there are several people uh, do the invention. So, and then that time, wait. Wait lang ah, medyo. Okay. Uh, to the present contribute pro uh, progress, photography along our way, photography timeline, so, Mr. George Eastman is, uh, began as uh, Okay, pwede, pwede pag, 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 pag ka rin. He's only 24 years old at the time. And he created his company, Eastman Dry Play Company in New York. And within that day, naging, he, he controlled the largest manufacturing company in the world. distribute. And you know what the uh, company is? Uh, this is what, uh, this is the Kodak company. So Mr. Eastman wanted to able to take the photograph, develop a camera that everybody could afford to buy at the pinaka cheapest that everyone can have during the time. It costs $1, okay? So 
So, ito yung itsura ng camera, the Eastman Kodak Brown camera. So, yun ang first uh, uh, distributed around the world na naging ano. And uh, after that, many types of camera uh, na lumabas. May point and shoot tayo, meron tayong uh, SLR or single lens reflex, and then nagkaroon tayo ng DSLR and now uh, even our smartphone we have a camera okay so lahat pa merong dalang merong kayong camera in your side you have a camera on your side okay let's talk about the parts of your ca digital camera so first thing first guys uh, one thing, when you buy your camera, you, you have a manual, okay? Please read your manual. Everything you want to know about your camera is written in your manual. Lahat na andon. Okay? So, yeah. Yan. Nakikita niyo pa ako? Hindi. Yes, sir. We can see your screen. Then, hindi kung nakikita ako. Nakikita niyo ako? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ikaw. Yes. Okay. So, first thing first with your digital camera uh, on the parts. As you can see here, uh, on the top, on the side of the viewfinder, okay, you can see at the small dial here, okay. So, that's the parts, huh? Okay, the parts of the camera. So, of course, one, one is the mode dial, and then the other is the button. So, and then on the side, ito yung mga connector, okay. So next on the back, uh, as you can see on number 10, uh, this is what you call a diopter. One thing, lalo na kung uh, hinira mo lang yung camera from, from others, okay, that dial or the diopter, uh, Okay, that diopter that you can see is when you approximately look from the viewfinder and then you have to adjust that diopter part, okay, according to your eye level. So, dapat ya adjust mo yon. Okay, so uh, at least you can see. The right focusing, the right focus, the right sharp sharpness on your camera. So, so dio, diopter is actually is one of the important part. Okay, let's go to the back of your camera. Okay, on the back of your camera, we have an aperture, the ISO. Uh, this is what you can see in your screen. Okay, so what, the shutter is one over one over something, one hundred one over one hundred twenty five. The aperture is the one with f, uh, and then exposure with is on the dial number, and then there is a more uh, about up on on the screen. The shutter speed here. Okay, can you try to? Uh, have your uh, shutter speed. Pagigalawin yon kung ano yung ano nyo, yung shutter speed nyo. And then try to check your aperture, the app stop. Okay. So the ISO, and then so lahat to explain natin lang the shooting mode, medium. Uh, the shooting mode, manual, 
pa program aperture uh, priority shutter priority and then the picture quality medium so if you want to shoot the raw okay and uh those are the size of the, uh, the quality picture and then one shot battery charge and the number of the uh, print okay next nakikita niyo pa rin ba okay next from here Oh, next from here is your dial mode. Okay, what you can see from your dial mode from here, it's actually the auto modes or the scene mode that default to your camera. Ito yung mga... And on the upper side, the guide mode is uh, the P, S, A, M, okay, the P for program, S for shutter priority, and A is for aperture priority and manual. We have to stick, uh, we have to try to shoot manual, okay, for for Canon, uh, if you are a Canon user, you can see the M, A, B, T, B, and P. We stand for manual, aperture priority, uh, shutter priority in T, B, and P is for program. Okay, for Nikon, M, A, S, P. Manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program. So, I guess, merong babang koni ka dyan or what? Okay. The next, uh, discuss natin. The mode dial, Fully automatic mode, ito yung green na nakikita mo, kung meron pa. So, it's about, sa other, for other, is, nakalagay is AE or uh, auto, automatic exposure. So, the, a green or AE or auto is all the same. So, most of the time, when you shoot in a program or auto mode, minsan kung saan uh, magpa-pop up yung plus diba? so be careful with your iso and be careful with your setting okay so program mode uh this is actually a default uh program within your camera meaning your camera will control your shoot lahat ng gagawin mong shoot click ka lang ng click si camera ng bahala and now in aperture priority, it depends on your lens opening. So uh, when you set your uh, camera to aperture priority or AB, okay, so okay. When you set your camera to aperture priority, one thing, uh, one, okay, in your aperture, the F stop, yun yung yung go control nyo. Okay, when you shoot in handheld, aperture priority must be from 60 or 50 or 60. Don't go beyond on that line ng aperture okay so 60 to avoid the shake diba kasi minsan nakikita mo shoot ka ng shoot pero mababa na yung aperture pre aperture mo and then you can see bucket blurred right so what happened uh what happened to your camera is actually hindi mo nakikita na yung yung f stop mo is not a 40, 20, or, or 10 something. So when you should have handheld, uh, your camera setting or your F stop must be 60 pataas. 60 pa ano. And then our shutter priority naman, uh, yung shutter or yung time of exposure 
ang nagbabalid. Okay? In a time of exposure, ito naman yung seconds, di ba? If you are shooting uh, slow shutter, okay? Pag fast shutter naman, is higher number ang gagamitin. Later, I will explain the ISO shutter aperture. Okay? So, next is the manual exposure. In manual exposure, everything you have to control. You have to control, you have to set your ISO, you have to set your aperture, and you have to set uh, your uh, shutter speed. And that, later, I will discuss kung paano nyo set yun. Okay? Then, auto depth of field, ito yung medyo blurry lang, ano, kung gusto mo lang ng auto, but you can still do it, that uh, the depth of field, into a manual exposure. Okay? So, uh, again, for, for the other mode or the scene, the which is default to your camera is self-explanatory. The portrait, landscape, close-up, sport, night pro, uh, photography, or something. Okay? So, all you have to do is set your, your camera on that default and then click, click. Click na lang lang tayo ng ano. So, si camera na yung bahala. I rather choose to shoot to shoot in manual mode because I control all my uh, all my settings. I control the color. I control the I control my camera. Okay, so lahat ako yung magiset ng kung ano yung gusto ko I can be overexposed or underexposed. It depends. Okay, so next and now how. How to get the correct exposure? So, so in a correct exposure, you need the three pa basic function in control to, for image capture. First, setting your ISO, aperture values, and the shutter speed. Okay, here is a exposure triangle. In our exposure triangle, ISO is the sensitivity to light, okay? The ISO is the sensitivity to light, meaning, pag medyo nasa labas ka, you said, uh, the best ISO is actually ISO 100. Uh, explain later, is that, uh, but uh, be careful when you do, when you shoot in a higher ISO number, nagkakaroon ng noise, or tinatawag natin pag nakita mo photos, pixelated na, right? So, in aperture naman, the lens opening. So, the lens opening, if you have a uh, lens na 1.4, you can have uh, blurry background and sharp yung, yung subject, okay? The depth of, yun yung natawag na depth of field, yung mga blurry na yung background and the intensity actually it's the lower the number naman, uh, the lower the number of aperture is mas matilim, mas ma, no. And the higher number, uh, no, no. The lower number is mas maraming ilaw, okay, na pumapasok. The higher number is mas konti lang yung ilaw na like na magpapasing through dun sa lens mo. And the shutter speed is a length of time. It pressing the motion. Okay, so let's start uh, explaining it one by one. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, our exposure triangle, the ISO. Check your camera. Uh, what the highest ISO that your camera capability? Kung ano bang meron yung camera mo? Okay, I said ISO 100 is the best ISO setting. Okay, but in normally when you shoot in ISO, the lowest ISO number, pag nasa labas ka, pag may tanghali or may inet at maganda yung ilaw, okay, you can set ISO 100. Or if you are shooting in the studio, with the strobe light, ISO 100 is the setting. 
Now, medyo partly cloudy, 200, ayos sa 200. So, lahat outdoor muna ito, ha? So, kasi you cannot shoot outdoor with the lowest ISO. Okay? And then, medyo overcast. Pag medyo hapon na, I set your ISO to 400. And when you shoot sport or bus shutter speed, ISO 800 can do. Or if you shoot indoor, okay, so medyo maganda yung, uh, uh, maganda yung ilaw sa loob, you can have ISO 800 and pataas. Okay? If you medyo meru very dark lighting or dark night, so you go to the highest ISO of your camera. But the only thing in a higher ISO, uh, medyo pixelated. Okay? Pixelated na yung picture ninyo. So, nagkakaroon na ng noise. Yun. It depends on what you need and it depends on the lighting sensitivity. Use the ISO. So, dap dapat ilalaroin man. Okay, uh, next. For the aperture. Okay. Let's go to the aperture. I think you said kanina. The lowest number is your lens opening. The 1.4 is the best lens if you have. Okay. So more light coming in, but uh, more blurry the background. Okay. Mas 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 mabab mas mataas yung depth of field niya. So when you okay when you shoot the landscape i i said when you shoot a portrait lowest iso 1.4 to hanggang 5.6 is best iso for for portraiture but when you shoot for landscape because uh when you shoot a landscape kailangan uh sharp from the nearest up to the farthest so ang iso meron tayong tinatawag na uh, f 11 rule Okay, so in F11 rule in a landscape, ito yung sharp from your near, from the nearest up to the farthest. Lahat yon sharp. Okay, so uh, doon ang sa ninyo, ang setting yun ng, uh, ng aperture or lens opening ninyo. So, but again, it depends to your ISO. The path magko complement tong tatlong to kaya nga exposure triangle to okay now for the shutter speed okay a very blurry background or portrait iso 1.5 to 3.5 slightly blurry background maybe ano uh, lalo na kayo mga kit lens lang ng ano niyo maybe uh konti lang yung blur sa background niya so iso 3.5 and 6.3 is good enough but uh with the wide depth of field or when you use it to the landscape na sharp from the nearest up to the farthest shoot in is of six or eight or f11 actually must say uh, so uh, again in iso in a higher iso ito na yung mga pang landscape so sharp from the nearest to the up to the farthest okay next is the shutter speed in your shutter speed the higher the number okay is mas mabilis one over 2000 one over uh 250 and the lower the number of the shutter speed one half two seconds to eight seconds those uh at uh, that time kailangan mo nang gumamit ng tripod you cannot use those lower ISO number uh, with handheld. Okay. So, again, ito tayo. Sabi ko nga, 1 over 60 is good enough for me when I shoot uh, handheld photo shoot na kamay lang yung gamit ko. Hindi ko siya, ano. So, safe ako ron. Wala akong blurry uh, moving image and then no. Uh, but lower than 1 over 60, okay, 50 or 40, you need 
it is it's either monopod or tripod. So kailangan mo na ng mga yon. Okay? And again, to blurry all the movement, seconds, or bulbs, ang, ang shutter speed. But, okay, use tripod if the shutter speed is below 1 over the focal length of the lens. Example, 85 lens and 1 over 80. Okay, slow shutter speed, the blurry the motion. Okay, yun ang yung mga seconds up to bulb. Fast shutter speed, pressing on action. So if you want to blurry water, uh, ito yung falls, lalo na yung mga falls, fountain. So one over two or seconds to bulb, yun ang gamit. If you're shooting with portrait, one over 60, and it's handheld, okay? Yes, merong question. Okay. When you, if you want to present the motion or slow subject, one over 250 para mas mabilis. Okay. And sometimes for one over 500, kids na magalaw, move, um, mahirap pag portrait ng kids na medyo, di ba? Mahirap i portrait ng kids, kung playful masyado. So one over 500 is good. And in sport, one over 500 to 1,000 and very fast, sub, uh, fast subject. Or if you want to shoot panning, okay, use the higher shutter speed, okay? Okay, again, the ISO, you have to control the ISO, the aperture or lens opening and the shutter speed. These three must be set in your camera and make it sure your exposure is on the zero. So that part, okay. Okay, so that part, ang correct exposure dial, pag titignan mo yun is nasa zero. That is the correct exposure. So aperture again, so the lens opening, the app stop, uh, pag mababasa mo to sa mga manual mo or sa book, isa, isa lang yan. Aperture values, f-stop, and lens opening is the same. Okay? And then the shutter speed, more light uh, coming in pag mga lower yung, yung shutter speed because it need a time of exposure. And less light when you shoot with the highest ISO, uh, IS shutter speed, okay? So again, zero is the uh, correct exposure or the perfect exposure. So dapat set nyo yung camera ninyo into the zero. But sometimes you want to be a creative, you need the, I want something underexposed, okay? Ilagay mo ng konti sa negative. If you want something overexposed, okay? Ilagay mo naman sa positive. Okay, but in correct exposure lagi, lagi mo siyang ilalagay sa zero. Okay, this is a manual shoot ah. Uh, uh, kailangan to, ito yung walang, walang, not shoot in the studio light. So, ito yung shoot sa mga outdoor, indoor na medyo ano. Iba kasi yung setting pag nasa studio light. Okay, so again. So we're done with the correct exposure, okay? So what makes a good photograph? First, a sharp focus. Kailangan sharp yung focus natin. Then properly expose image, okay? I explain how you properly expose your image to uh, the correct ISO, the correct uh, expo uh, aperture and shutter, shutter speed, okay? Correct white balance, normally auto white balance, it's good to start, but you have to learn uh, the other white balance. Try kung maglaro kayo doon para sa mga sa shade of colors, kung gusto niyong gamitin yan. Even the Kelvin, it's good. Uh, actually, I'm, me, I'm using Kelvin uh, for the white balance. So, lalo na pag nag-landscape ako. And then, 
Uh, of course, we need a good composition. So, okay, the exposure, uh, ito yun. Okay. Manual, program mode. So, the focal point. Every photograph must have a focal point. A focal point is an object in the photograph which is also called a center of interest, which is our subject. I think subject natin dun sa photo natin, okay? It's the main thing which you want to, uh, the viewer to see or recognize on a first viewing. Parang kailangan pag nag-exhibit ka, ito yung kala, ito kagad yung marirecognize nila. And that is your subject, okay? So, the useful guide to place the focal point is actually with the use of the rule of third. Okay, this is your viewfinder. And in your viewfinder, merong, merong graph doon na pwede nyong iset. And that is the rule of third. So, in that rule of third, the place your focal point at or near in the intersection point of the red dot nito. So meaning, uh, pag humarap ako sa camera mo and I uh, umarap ako sa camera mo and normally kasi pag nag-visit tayo uh, nakasanaya natin laging nasa center okay dead center para, para kang mag-target ng uh, ano ito yung mag-target lang na kailangan mo nasa center lagi yung cherry so now it's more professional the, to see your your shoot if your subject is on a rule of third. Okay, the sample here. Okay, I put my subject on a rule of third. The, my subject is the uh, fisherman guy na namimingwet. So same pinaka main subject ko. And then I put the other side, uh, at least meron pang nakita on the other side. Okay, I put the fisherman here on the rule of third, and then meron pa ako nakita ng ano, di ba? So that's the rule of third. And then uh, you see here my rule of third. Okay, so my other side, yung clouds naman, so nagbabalance. Okay, but the main subject ko is yung tower. Okay, so now how to set your uh, how to set uh, your focus point in rule of third. Nakikita niyo yung camera niyo. Try to half press your camera, and then you see this one the AF point selection. Merong single mode. Okay. So nakikita niyo yung camera niyo, merong pag pag hina-press ninyo, nakikita mo yung mag nagiblink na red. That is the red. Okay? Ito yung mga nagiblink na yon. And then uh, you can press Okay. You can press this one kung merong kayong dong sa may AF point selection then tapos yung dial nyo. It either uh, one to the left basta yung red na nagiblink na yon when you press half press with your camera yun yung naandun yung subject ninyo. Make it sure na naandun yung subject ninyo para sa yung sharp. So, yun ang ginagamit natin. Okay. Now, how do you compose? How do you compose? How do you compose your photos? So, we know the rule of third. We know the upper cure, shutter speed, and uh, ISO. Okay? And the correct exposure is on the zero. And then I put the subject on the rule of third. And now, this uh, some tips for you on how do you compose your photos. 
this is a guide that creates a good photograph. So, uh, first, simplicity. The simpler is the better. In the frame, go near or close to your subject, it's much better. Okay? Look at this. this, this look at this one. Simple. Diba? It's a simple photo. So, it can. Then, my subject is in the rule of third. Okay? So, avoid clutter. So, cluttering or distraction to your photos is actually will make your viewer confused kung sino ba talaga yung subject. So, so you, you must remove the distraction in your frame. Look at this one. Okay? If, if you see that uh, photos, so there's some distraction here, the branches of the tree, the leaves, the car on the back, di ba? And while if you go nearer and shoot on the frame, di ba? Mas magandang tignan. Okay? So next, shoot in perspective. Take photos at different angle than your usual perspective. So top shot, front view, okay? The sample is here. If I have as my subject, the apple subject here, if I shoot here in a zero degrees, okay, what you can see is the height or the size of an apple and the texture of an apple, okay? And what you can see is the actual apple na nakakita mo siya from the height to the texture. If you shoot uh, in different perspective in 10 to 20 degrees, is what you can see when you when you are when you sit in the dining table and you see the apple on the plate. So you yung makikita mo from 10 to 20 degrees. Uh, more on konti dun sa top na konti. Okay, when you shoot. <clears throat> When you shoot in a 45 degrees, what you can see, the apple or the food, which is yung sineserve sa'yo ng waiter na ibinababa from, from, from your table, from your dining. So when you shoot in a 45 degrees. So 45 yung ano mo. And then when you shoot on a 90 degrees or top view, you, you can see all about on what on the plate, diba? So, yun yung mga, ano, shoot in a different perspective. Okay, this one, I shoot in, uh, Sinulog Festival in Cebu. So, nandun ako sa bridge, on the top of the bridge. Okay, lighting. Use natural light or available lighting as much as possible. Because it's free. Guys, when you use, uh, sarap shoot sa labas because the lighting is free. Diba? And you can play the lighting as much as possible kung ano yung natin. Okay? Natural light. As you can see, simple. Diba? Simple lang pero maganda yung lighting. Okay? This kind of lighting is actually all photographers uh, talagang gusto nilang ma ma makuha to. Dito sila nagpapakamatay. Ito yung sinatawag namin rarinda lighting. Ito yung lighting, uh, this kind of lighting na parang kinukuha ka na ni Lord. Diba? Ito yung sa morning, pag, nag pag nagpapausok ang lola or ang nanay, nagwawalis. At makikita mo to, uh, lighting coming from uh, from the trees na bumababa ron, then tapos na, pag nausukan, makikita mo itong mga lighting na to. And it's very good lighting. Okay? This one I shoot in underground uh, chapel in Ilocos Park. Okay? So, I use wide lens and then kailangan isama mo yung kung saan ang gagaling yung light para magkaroon ka ng beam. Okay? Like beam of light. And then, contrast. 
make your subject stand out. Example from color, different uh, color, shape and size, sharpness, clarity, or the depth of field. So make your contrast. So the violet it contrasts to green. Uh, may a uh, yellow uh, sorry the yellow on the uh, sa gitna the flower is complementary to the violet so get on so the green so this the co uh, will uh, color uh, uh, will ng natin para magkaroon ng harmony dun sa photos ninyo Meron kang nakitang green, it must be kailangan mong lagi ng yellow. Or uh, dapat, kung meron red, ay, green, may, dapat may yellow. Kung katapat, kung yun yung complementary niya. So, so magko-complement yung green with, with red. So, pag nakita mo merong red, dapat merong green. So, magko-complement. It's harmonious to your eyes of, uh, of your viewer. So, di ba? Kung meron kang blue, dapat meron orange. Kung meron kang yellow, dapat meron violet. So, complementary colors. So, dapat contrast. Okay? It's either contrast in color or contrast in height. That. So, your photograph must convey a story. Laging dapat uh, nilalagyan mo ng story yung shit mo, yung photo mo. Okay? So, lalo na if you want to join with the photography contest, if, uh, you must have the story with your photos. Okay? So, and then, action. So, your photo must put on an action. It should be dynamic and movement. So look at this one, the Simbang Gabi. Okay. So on the on the sa gitna, yung mga nag, naglalakad na mga tao. And then since may mga naka steady na kaupo na, that will be sharp. And then those are doing a movement uh, uh, na naglalakad. So sila yung magiging blur. So it must it must be dynamic, okay? Any action taking place will move into instead of move out of the picture. Mas maganda move into like this one rather than move out of the picture. It's because uh, when you see the photos na move out, wala ka ng, wala na yung frame. Parang katapat niya na yung frame nung nasa gilid mo. Uh, rather than dun sa move into, uh, mas may makikita ka pang space in front of the object or in front of your subject na alam mo na may pupuntahan pa na nasa kung saan siya papunta okay so don't shoot move out of the picture okay next candid creative natural mood humor so shoot if you can see some creative natural or some humor, or yung mga smile, or mga ano. This one is a candid uh, during the uh, festival. So I see the girls, sit lang ako ng ano. So I see those smile, di ba? And then, lalo na pag nag-shit ka ng baby. The smile of the baby is actually is one of the best smile you can shoot in your camera. So, yun. Kasi hindi fake. Ang hirap Kasi na, na, na i-take yeah, medyo, kasi pag model na medyo smile, konting smile lang, alam mo na yung ano. So, alam mo, aral na lang na smile yun. So, shoot you with balance. Compose properly, horizon is level. So, balance, merong, merong kang ground and earth, okay? And with your subject on the middle, okay? So, compose is something with balance. Okay, like this one. So, still let's my subject tayo. And then, effect in a good photograph. Use of lines 
Okay, lines, depending on how they are laid out, have a bar, uh, varied effect on the mood or feel of the picture. So we have a vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and S curve. So in a vertical lines, it's in part a feeling of height and a power. So it's good if you shoot your photo on a vertical orientation. Okay. So look at this one, the tower in Ilocos. Okay, this one is an infrared photography. Yeah, may do white. You know. So uh, normally, cityscape. Pag nakita mo yung ano, uh, lalo na yung pag masadong mataas na yung mga building don, you can see the lines. Okay, and then. Uh, I shoot this one with lines in a festival, and I shoot this also. Uh, it's actually it's a lantern, okay? Lantern decor uh, during the times of uh, my uh, Ross Boulevard. Meron yan, and dami yan dati ng uh, Korean lantern to eh, na malalaki. So I used my lines here. Vertical and horizontal. So the dancer on the mm, vertical lines, horizontal yung pedestrian lane. So ginamit yung pedestrian lane. Talagang sinutisila na gano'n. Okay, vertical lane, uh, another infrared shoot. Then horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are just calm, peace, and tranquility. So more effective in horizontal orientation composed photos. So mas maganda siyang tignan kung uh, horizontal. It can be also in a vertical. It depends on the lines that you can see. So here, uh, sample, Dataal Volcano, uh, nang hindi pa nag erupt ano? Actually, uh, ito yung nakikita natin the usual before. I don't know kung ano na itsura ng taal nowadays. Dita ko na tayo. Okay. So you can see yung lines dito, itong nasa harapan, it's actually this is not the Taal Volcano. And that, the Taal Volcano is on the second line. Uh, on the third line, ay yun background ng, ng ano, bundok. Okay. So you see the lines here. Vertical and horizontal. Okay. Diagonal lines tend to make picture more dynamic. That, uh, that is, they seem to have more life in them. Diagonal, it's more uh, on a line na medyo sometimes ito yung mga photos na nasa ano. Okay. So, the banka, na look the banka here. And in the diagonal position, at least nakita mo yung length ng bangka. So, diagonal lines here, may still light. The S curves. The most graceful of all, and it is presented in the S guide, the eye into an exotic and pleasurable journey through the picture. Ito na yung, normally, it's good if you are shooting nude photography because of the curve ng mga ladies, di ba? Yung mga curves, mas magandang tignan to. But still, in a landscape, you can see some S-curves na gyan. So this one is low shutter, okay, of the falls. Nakita mo yung flow ng water. And then... Uh, when I go to China for the <clears throat> okay, you can see the S curve here and a good uh, to? Ilocos part. That's the north, kasi all the north, although na ikot ko na ng gusto ng konte ng north, kaya medyo magsawa na ako ng konte sa north. So Ah, uh, ano pangalan ng aton? Ah, uh, 
Alimutan ko na yung bridge sa to. Asa going sa may north to. If I can a good photograph again, contrast. Use contrast for heightened interest. Contrast in size, big and, high, uh, big and small. So, magkakaroon ng contrast. Diba? Kahit na medyo maliit yung, yung actual photographer yung nasa gitna na yun. Kahit na maliit, still, you can recognize the person. Diba? So, contrast in color. Again, use uh, the, uh, the color contrast wheel. Okay? Red, complementary to the green. Okay? Orange. Or orange, compl yellow, complementary to the violet. So contrast in color. So again, this is my uh, Hilda Ward version. So red, green, you know, I'm the contrast of color, the wheel of uh, the color wheel. So you know, pinaint ko, sa mga kamay. So tatlong bata lang to. Okay. Contrast in shape, okay, pat and thin, okay, on the shape, sweet looking, uh, framing, framing for shelter comfort, okay, so when you shoot on a frame, uh, uh, minsan nakikita mo yung baksak na mga dahon na nasa puno, you can use that for your framing. Or sometimes uh, you can make daya na somebody holding the leaves on the side para magkaroon lang ng, ng framing. Okay? So, pag medyo bored, uh, medyo boring yung you shoot mo na landscape or something, now, lalo na kung walang, hindi maganda yung ulap, hindi maganda yung uh, the clouds are not, are, is not good, so I always see uh, something to frame for my subject. So I'm looking for some, uh, ito yung mga dahon of the leaves from the trees. So framing, okay, yung mga doors, okay. Pwede mong gamitin framing yon, and it's good. Okay, so again, I'm infrared with leaves on, on the, diba, nakadagdag. It adds to the beauty of your photos. So, pag nilalagyan mo ng mga framing. Okay? So, natural framing is good. So, again, the towel bell in Ilocos again. So, dinamit ko yung green as a frame since nakita ko may mga green-green yung tower mismo. Okay, then uh, si Lola. Uh, actually, this Lola is siya yung nasa Coke commercial ng dati, sa Itbayat, Batanes. This one is Batanes. I don't know kung ano yun. So, I really love to go to Batanes. Gusto yung gustong gustong balikan. And then, reflection. Shoot in a reflection, pag umulan, nakita mo kagad umulan, uh, make it uh, go, go eh, after nung rain ng ulan na yon makikita mo may tubig doon. Then, kung ano yung reflection na makikita mo, so it, it adds actually to your photos a good reflection. Okay? So, you can see the reflection here. So, perspective for depth. So, photographs have two dimensional images, the height, the width, and we added to include the third dimension is depth. Ito na yung lalim naman. So, the depth of your photos. So, look at this from the front up to the, the farthest, you can see yung bangka na yon. Okay? So, may depth yung photos mo. Uh, the eyes of your viewer will go from from the first bangka up to the last bangka. Diba? Parang mag, mag, uh, mag-draw yung eyes mo going to the deepest side. Okay, next. 
Okay, look at this one. So, uh, natin tulay na takot-takot kaming tumulay. Pero actually, yung mga taga rito, yung mga locals, nagtatakbuhan pa sila yan. Kami. <laughs> Photographer pa rin yung nasa likod. Ay, nasa harap na yan. Kasi yung ginagawa namin subject. Pag wala kami subject. Okay, silhouette. A wonderful way to convey drama, mystery, emotion, and mood to the viewers of your photo, shoot silhouette. Okay? Lalo na kung may mga konting story yung silhouette mo na nangyayari. Okay? This one of the... Uh, during sunset, sunrise, mas magandang gumawa ng, ng silhouette. Okay, texture. So, texture... Uh, if you see some texture uh, shoot in details, okay? So, repetition and patterns, shoot. Pag may nakikita kang mas maraming, ano, para parehas, okay? You can shoot with repetition or in, or even the patterns like this. This, this one in the palenque, okay? So, composition for still light. Keep simple and avoid flutter. Okay? Simple. Di ba? Simple lang yung ano, apple. Pag binigyan ka ng subject na apple and then lagyan mo lang ano. So, avoid flutter. So, black in background ko. Walang flutter. So, look at this one. Still, uh, actually, it's a Photoshop of photos. So, may mga toothpick yan within the image. Okay, so this one, nakita ko yung magandang light and the only the only subject I can use is yung takure. So I share this one. And then composition for landscape. So the better way to place the horizon is in the upper or the lower third. Don't shoot the landscape na nasa gitna yung horizon ninyo. It makes sense sa parang Pag tiniklop mo yung photo, skip ng gitna siya. Huwag ganon. It, it can be place your horizon on the upper third or the lower third. It can be 70 on the lower, on the lower base. And for the horizon, on the, sa background, sa ulap, uh, 30, some, uh, something else, 60, 40, something ganon. But not 50-50. Don't shoot uh, na nasa gitna. Mas nagkakaroon pa ng story or nagkakaroon pa ng mas magandang view kung ibababa mo ng konti. Yung uh, sad, yung ano mo. Diba? So, nakakita pa ako ng texture baba. So, what the best time to shoot landscape and how to find the best light? Okay. So, what is the best time to shoot landscape? So God created light and photography is all about light. But what we need is a quality light and not just only light. So kailangan natin ng quality light. Not just only the light na nakikita lang natin and then shoot. So yung mga quality light, light with an artistic quality. So yung pinakita ko kanina na sample, di ba? yung this one on the on the cape yung mga may bli, uh, beam na tumatama so yung mga rarinda light so kung meron kung meron sa inyo magpausok ka lang ng konti and then you can see those light so yeah, ito yung ano ito yung mga lines actually sabi ko nga eh, para kang kinukuha ng ni Lord na light na ganun those are the quality light na talagang Gustong gusto ng mga kapotographer yun. Okay. So best time to shoot landscape was found during sunset and sunrise. It's because it's what we call the golden hours. Okay. So during sunset and sunrise, iba yung makikita mo. On the time, makakita ka ng violet, makakita ka ng orange, yellow. Okay. So, uh, Boracay shoot, okay? So,
okay sunset another sunset and then the important part of a good landscape so when you shoot in a landscape you have the background you need to put a uh, the important parts of a good landscape must have a background and voila. okay okay they were the three important parts of the landscape kailangan meron kang foreground normally it is yung mga bato bato or the stone nearest with your camera or small plant or grass those are the serve as a foreground and then mid ground normally ito yung mga subject that yung minsan nagiging subject mo so mid ground and background again when you shoot with the landscape kailangan naka f11 rules tayo meaning to say uh sharp from the nearest up to the farthest dapat lahat sharp walang blurred okay so look at this one so again yung foreground ko yung bato bato or yung mga hal damo damo okay and then the mid ground ko is yung tower it is my subject and the background yung mga ulat so, yun ang nangyayari lagi. So, again, when you shoot, kailangan uh, nasa rule of third yung bangka at nat tapos horizon mo on the lower or upper third. Okay? Now, let's go to the portrait. How how to shoot with the portrait? Uh, uh, in portrait, in portrait you have to look for character, uh, people at work, and avoid dead center placement of the subject face. Because when you do, uh, when you shoot with your subject on a center, para kang gumagawa ng photo ID. Okay? If I pose uh, with your camera on the side and then put my uh, ng konte, so yung side ko, yung balikat ko, nandun sa no, then ulo ko on that, other, on that side. So, lagyan mo ng rule of third. So, medyo huwag mo ilalagay ng masyadong center. Look at the character, the lolas, the natives. Okay? So, those people na makikita mo when you go travel, sila yung magandang kunan. Sila yung magandang subject. Diba? Kasi sila yung may mga character. Kasi yung pag you go to the festival, those the dancer nakikita mo naka makeup naka no di ba ah, nakikita yung character so people at work so shoot uh, be photos with people at work and then look at the my portrait here i i don't put my head on a dead center so medyo nasa side so look at this one. Okay. So thank you. So let's go to the basic Photoshop editing. Any questions so far? Okay, guys, any question for the basic photography? Any question, guys? Or we go to uh, Photoshop na? Sir, we have a question here po. Okay, go. Yes, sir, sa chat po. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, if you go to the outside and then, you know, so IS setting mo, yung unay mo na kagad yung ISO setting mo. So I guess ISO 200 can, it's good enough for the light outside, lighting outside. Okay, and then uh, I point my camera lens to the subject and then what I, what, 
uh, thing na uh, makikita ko, yung shutter speed ko is 1 over 6, 1 over 60 at least. Okay? At least 1 over 60 or pataas ang setting. Don't go beyond, sabi nga dapat wag, dapat hindi ka sa baba ng baba ba ng 1 over 60. Okay, sa aperture mo. Ah, uh, sa aperture mo, 1 over 60. Dapat hindi ka baba ba rin. Otherwise, magiging blurry na or pag magalaw na yung ano mo, magkakaroon ng, ng motion. Okay? And then, the shutter speed. So, maglalaro na si shutter speed pag nilagay mo na sa zero yung setting mo. ba yung setting, pag nakikita mo yung line of setting, ilalagay mo siya lagi dun sa zero. Manual manual setting tayo, ha? Uh, April. So, dapat nasa zero yung, yung correct exposure natin. Pag nasa zero na siya, it means you can half press and then click. Okay, regarding with the uh, with the phone camera, so I can say uh, yes, there is a uh, 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 maraming uh, phone smartphone camera nowadays na lumalabas na good quality ang photos talaga comparing to the uh, DSLR. But still, I can use my DSLR. It's because mas 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 nako control ko kasi kasi dun sa iPhone set sa smartphone inutok mo lang yun eh. Wala kang ISO setting, wala kang shutter speed. Well, eh kung ano, di ba? It's all uh, default lang dun sa phone mo. Okay? So ganun lang. But still the color Maganda yung color ng smartphone pero I can adjust naman the color of my DSL uh, output into Photoshop. So kaya naman habulin yun. So mas malalaro ko pa yung ano. Okay, for the reference or further photography reading, uh, may mga books na actually maraming any books na ano wala akong reference itong dala although i tell you but uh, photography is one of the uh, many variant tutorial in youtube or even in the google at yung maraming mga naka ano eh. so you can choose kung ano yung magandang kung ano yung gusto mong shoot and then you can google and then you can use the youtube uh, tutorial may mga ganun naman sa mga uh, youtube niyo nowadays madami yan marami rin kasi nagba-vlog at nagaano na nagbi-video vlog for photography so you can have uh, everything now in internet di ba then next, uh, wala na bang question? Yes, okay, sir. so next. Uh, sir, since wala pong uh, question, we will, uh, we can go siguro po sir muna with a five minute break para pro um, set up nila yung Photoshop nila. And okay, okay, five minutes uh, water, uh, water break time and, yes, and then set up Photoshop. Yes po. So everyone, we can go uh, to a quick water break or a uh, CR break if you need to. And then we can set up our Photoshop for the next uh, area of our um, seminar, which is now the photo editing. Thank you very much.
Okay, um, we can now start again, sir. So, sir, before we uh, go to the next part, meron po tayong uh, ulit questions dito, sir. Yes. Uh, sir Nick, what if you are outdoors and you don't have a DSLR? Only your mobile phone. How will you play the read to come up with a good photo? Okay, good question. Okay, I normally before uh, before I normally go out. Uh, every time I go, uh, I go out. Every time, uh, wherever I go, whatever I do, I always have uh, a small camera on my pocket. Okay, since now nowadays uh, our smartphone. Uh, capable to shoot with a good photos. Actually, it's really good photos. And since we have an, uh, a lot of uh, apps or application in your mobile phone, even the Lightroom, the Photoshop, have a, uh, we have an, uh, a phone application nowadays that you can download. Okay, but I, uh, me, I'm using the Snapseed. Uh, to edit those photos and to make it more uh, more uh, good photos na mas maganda. Diba? And, uh, it's a better photos lalo. Okay? And then I can, I can say that really smartphone nowadays uh, will compete to DSLR but uh, if you do uh, photography business or if you, if you want to be a pro uh, professional photographer you cannot be use your your smartphone for your business you, you can uh, still people looking uh, for your DSLR so using smartphone is good uh, nowadays I'm bringing my smartphone whenever I go so shoot in every action I can see on the street and then edit on the Snapseed or edit on some application. There's a lot of uh, application for photography nowadays uh, available for the mobile phone. Okay? Okay, next. Ilang taon na po kayo sa photography business? What uh, scattering your interest in learning? Okay. Uh, I can say I'm... 20 years plus, okay? So I was starting in my career, actually, I'm an I'm engineering graduate, okay? Electrical, and then, tinapas ko naman yon, and then uh, I, sit, I, I take another course for computer science and take my master for computer science. And after that, I employed with a uh, advertising company. And from that advertising company, do not simulate creativity uh, learning. Ko. So I'm exposed to some uh, uh, ads uh, for, for the client. So poster ads. So do not know the Photoshop, do not know the application. Even uh, photo editing, then uh, and then photography, then we start, and then I took my photography course in FPPF, and then from since then, uh, pasali sali sa mga photo contest, dun naman nakilala yung pangalan ko, and then dun 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 nalalabas yung mga client eh. When you get the, uh, when people hear your name, the client will go with you para para gumawa na ano. So, all in all, 20 plus years. And then, I can say, uh, this is my uh, photography now, actually, naging bread and butter ko. But, this time of pandemic, patay lahat ng photographers. <laughs> Medyo walang kita. Okay, so, uh, another one, if I want to start in photography, how much should I invest in gears? Okay. <clears throat> so it depends on what you want. If you are a beginner, okay, if you are a beginner, I can say or if you I can say uh, buying DSS, DSLR like 
Canon or Nikon. And nowadays, uh, it costs 30 to 40 uh, with the kit lens. So maximize with that. And then with the kit lens and then learn from yourself what kind of photography you want to shoot. If you want a macro, if you want a ready, if you want a portrait, uh, then buy another gear uh, appropriate for the for the interest that uh, you, you want to shoot. So now, uh, since uh, it came out with uh, some of the mirrorless camera, so mirrorless camera actually it ranges. Uh, it, it's it's not a cheaper camera actually, but it's a good camera nowadays because uh, compact, small, okay, and even the lens is small and easy to carry, okay. It's like you have a point and shoot, but a uh, very powerful camera. But you have to learn for another uh, manual setting because everything is in a manual setting. So. You have to learn more in the, in setting up your camera. So in in mirrorless camera like Fuji or Sony, okay, uh, it costs one hundred thousand plus, including the. Uh, I can, you can, there is one of everything is free, and you, all you have to do is to shoot. Okay, that is the best part, I can tell you. So you can go any part of the world for free with photography. So me, I was hired by uh, Cebu Pacific so to shoot. Actually, for this year, supposedly we go to Japan, but with the, the pandemic, uh, with the virus, na postpone lahat, lahat na wala muna. So everything is free. So yon, and then. Uh, one thing with the uh, photography, I explore. I explore even the the Philippines itself. So na naging outgoing person na ako, naging backpackers lang, then go travel. Pag lalo na pag board ako, you want to unwind somewhere and then bring your camera. You can shoot sunset and sunrise, and it's good. Uh, when you go back. Wala lahat yung mga pagod mo. Okay? That is good. And then also, if you are a food photographer, lahat ng isi-shoot mo na food, kakainin mo yun. And that is good. Okay? So, uh, next. So, wala nang question? Na, nasagot ka ba lahat? So, uh, so, can we go now to Photoshop editing? Okay, so we're running out of time. Mag almost magulang sa tayo. So okay, here I you open the Acme Girl uh, that I gave it to you guys. So here is the, the basic, okay, the basic Photoshop editing, okay, for portraiture, okay. So as you can see here, the other side of the girl uh, is nice. The other side. With acne girl okay so how do you put all the, the all the okay every time you edit your photos make it sure duplicate your photos so that when you go back to the basic when you go back to all, to all photos you can still see the difference between the edited and then an edit. So with that, uh, we can go to image and uh, 
layer, okay, layer duplicate layer. Or the shortcut is control or command, control for the Windows, command for the Mac, control J. Okay, so duplicate, always duplicate your, your photos. Okay, now we start to edit. So to, to take away all the blemishes or the uh, part of the girl, okay, yeah, I use this uh, all the healing tools here. How to use those healing tools? So we start with the spot healing brush tools. So put photo always on top view. Uh, no, put photos. It depends on the. No, put put. It depends on the photos. Uh, on the put. If you want to see the texture, sa gatin ko lang muna ta bago tayo tuloy sa photos yata. Ta, yung tanong ni Mary, Eileen, Daniel. Okay, put photo always on top you. No. I can say no. Because uh, if the client asks you to shoot the stake and asking how pat or how, or kung gaano kataba yung yung patty ng burger, you have to shoot Obviously, pinakita ko kanina, on a zero, in, zero degrees, on a 45 degrees, or uh, 10, to 40, 10 to 20 degrees. It depends to the, uh, to the food itself. If you want to see all the food uh, on the plate, to uh, shoot food on a top view. It's not always on a top view. Okay? Those, uh, if you wanted to see, all the texture, the height or of your photos, of your food, you can vary your your uh, perspective, different perspective, I can tell you. So not all in a top view, okay? So, okay, any question more? Okay, so we go proceed again to the Photoshop. Okay, next. Again, in spot healing brush tools, it is always the uh, uh, tools that you use for portraiture. The other tools is for uh, editing and no, no. But uh, I'm all I only use uh, I only teach you how to put all those blemishes. Okay, to, to make your photos zoom in and zoom out, ito yung bracket, uh, press the command, up, upper bracket, Ay, no, 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 control plus para, control plus, control minus, or command plus, control minus, uh, control minus kung gusto mo si it or kung gusto mo zoom, command or control plus for your photo. Okay, for your brush naman, okay, if you are using the spot healing tools, kung gusto mong, if you want your brush uh, to make bigger command, bracket, ay, ay, wala nang command, no command, just press the bracket, uh, upper and lower. Okay, okay, so here, again, uh, again, your photos must be in in your second layer. Your editing photos must be in a second layer. The first photo should be retained as is. Okay, duplicate your always duplicate your photos. Okay, here. So spot healing here. So spot healing brush. So every time so. Every time you want to put something on the page, so you click mo lang yon, and then the blemish will come out easily. Okay, so ganun lang, and then that's the use of the spot healing brush. 
The healing breast tools naman is uh, press the alt. Uh, press the alt on the clear pores nung clear pores nung photos and then go to the nearer uh, side na gusto mong i ano, then press alt, then click okay and then click mo siya na ano pwede po bang mag overuse yung spot healing breast tools Okay, pwede bang mag-overuse yung SPA? It depends. Uh, sometimes, nagkakaroon siya ng spot-spot na bilog-bilog when you use when you overuse the uh, spot healing brush tools. Nagkakaroon siya ng marka-marka ng ano. Okay? So, I rather use other tools. Okay? The spot healing, eh, not, not only the spot healing, uh, I rather use other parts para at least mas ano katulad nito so i press the alt from the nearest nung tatanggalin nating blemish and then press this one at least yung nearest na part same skin tone yung makukuha mo okay from here press alt so yun diba from here shout alt so yun Okay. So next, uh, healing brushes. The patch tool naman, if kung medyo malaki na yung damage, kailangan mong alisin. Okay. So from here, uh, so Ganon din, mag-alt ka dun sa may clear na malapit dun sa skin para at least mawawala yung malapit yung si skin and then para same skin tone yung makukuha mo. Okay, press alt, magiging ganun yun o. And then click dun sa clear pores and then go to the Makikita mo dahil may plus sign na nakikita. Yun ang kokop. Uh, the plus sign will be the copy sign. Okay. Pwede ba bang mag-overuse? Ah, okay na ba? Brush to. Sigit na yun. Okay. Okay, next. Next from Dano is a pass uh patch tools. So the patch uh patch tools naman patch tools. So kung medyo malaki nga yung pop tatanggalin mo, okay? You can Okay, medyo malaki yung tatanggalin nating part. Uh like this one kunwari. So if you click it, you just select, just select on the damaged part and then drag the select damaged part to the nearer force na clear and then easily and then command T para mawala yung ano. Okay? So, ganun gamit. So, the nearer part, select and then drag. Yan lang gamit ang patch tools. And then for content aware naman, okay, content aware, ganito ang gamit. Uh, actually, parang uh, mostly, yung content aware ginagamit pang landscape eh. Yung mga ayaw mong makita, gusto mong patungan. Okay? Paano ko ba ilalagay sa portrait yan? Parang hindi yata bagay. And try ko lang ha. Kung itong kilay na to, mapapalitan natin ng, ah, tatanggalin natin kilay. Di ba? Ayun. 
So, yun yung content aware. Okay. So, yun naman ang content aware natin. Pang pang landscape normally. Pero bang or, uh, wala naman. Okay, next. For the red eye tools, uh, nowadays, uh, yung red eye tools, hindi na masyado eh. Uh, sa red eye tools, ito yung, do you remember when you use your, when you use your point and shoot camera, and then you shoot, uh, normally when you shoot uh, inside or indoor, and then all people when you shoot is red eye yung nangyayari. So yun yung gamit, that just the use of the red eye tools. Uh, with kind of the uh, point and shoot normally, yun yung pangtanggal. So with red eye tools, si select mo lang si yung red na yon, then tapos mamaya ayos niyo ng ano yon. So ganon yung red eye. But uh, since hindi naman red eye tools yung ano natin, uh, okay na yon. Okay nang ano niya. So, ito yung mga gaya. I will think ulit. The uh, spot healing brush tools. Okay. The spot healing brush tools. Ito tayo na gumana. Sige ha, spot healing, again. Ito yung in-overuse na yung sinasabi mo eh, no? Yung ginagyan to. So, kung gusto mo lahat, if, if you want everything, so you can see, nagkakaroon siya ng discoloration from the skin tone. So, I normally not advise this overuse of uh, no? So, it depends sa case nung ano. Diba nakikita mo mga discoloration na halatang halata na dinaanan ng ano. So, I rather use the, is the, the healing brush tools. So, I go to the nearest skin tone. Okay. And then, click. Nearest skin tone. Click. Yes. So, mas tama pa yung skin tone ko. So, mas correct pa yung skin tone. Kesa dun sa... Okay. So, yun ang ano. Next! Uh, open natin yung... Yung eye bagay. Ito naman, uh, with the eye bag guy, layusin natin siya at patawanin natin. Medyo na kasi maangot. Like, uh, we're going to keep the photo uh, clear the eye bag and the wrinkles. And also, we make our model to smile. Diba? So again, control J. Duplicate your layer and then clear the eye bag with the spot healing tools and uh, healing brush tools or pots tools. Okay. Okay. So, spot healing tools. You are seeing nothing more wrinkles. Okay. So. And then go. Doing brush tools, press out.
Okay. Sa iBag naman, uh, I'm using healing brush tools. So, I'll spot healing. Ayan, spot healing. Okay. Okay. So, here. Okay. So we try. Okay, may you uh after it's the Lord has him photos and then made you know. So we make our model smile. How to do that? Okay, go to uh filter liquify. Okay, so in liquify, we have a forward warp tools. Ito yung gagamitin natin. Again, yung brush natin, uh, pwede natin liitan lang. So we make a small brush, as much as possible. And then, uh, this liquify actually, you can use liquify uh, to make the S curve. Okay, uh, to, to put something, uh, to move a little, to correct all the discord, to open the eyes, like yung mga ganon. Okay, smile natin siya. Let's smile. Uh, no, I'm using the warp tools, uh, uh, forward warp tools. So, smile. Okay, did he smile? Okay. So made you I think name you know. Okay, so nice smile as yeah. Okay. And then Ah, uh, we're going to uh, the pocket tools actually to make your part na to squeeze. Sample. Malaki yata yung brush ko. Brush size natin, lita natin. Masyadong malaki. Okay. So, the power tools. Okay. So, please squeeze down. Nakita mo. Squeeze down. Okay. And then, yung blotter naman. Blow tools. Baliktad. So, opposite. Para naman lumaki. Click mo lang yan. Okay. So, yan. So, that's the use of uh, liquify. So, that's the use of liquify. Then, press OK. Okay, smile na siya. Before, after. Before, after. Okay. And the other one. Before, after. Okay, I think uh, that's the basic of uh, Photoshop editing for portraiture. Uh, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, you can enroll in. Okay.
Uh, uh, I guess hmm. I'm done. Sir. Any question? Sir, meron lang oh, po yeah. tayong request, sir. Baka daw po pwedeng mapaulit yung sa part ng liquify. Ah, okay. Liquify. Okay. Again, sa liquify. Okay, so... I-double... I-double ko na lang to, ha? Control K. Ito yun. So... Again... Uh, spot healing ang ginamit ko for the wrinkles para malinis okay so ito na yan and then for the eye bag so linisin na lang ha for the eye bag and then for the liquify okay for the liquify go to filter liquify Okay, press OK. And then, again, for the forward warp tools, ito yung gagamitin mo. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the tools. You can move the part of your subject. Uh, okay, ito yung ginamit ko. Forward ko na konti. So, dahan-dahan lang. So, keep our uh, model to smile. So, make sure correct yung lips. Okay. Naka-smile na siya ng call. Don't overuse, ha? Don't overuse. Baka kasi magmukha ng iba yung tura. Magmukhang alien. Okay. Again, we can see hindi pa uh, hindi pantay yung eyes. So, I'm using the blow tools. Okay, yung blow tools. Kaya naman yung uh, to blow or to, to increase the size. Okay, just click Click lang, itapat mo lang doon on the center of the eye. Okay. So, ika, sobra. Okay, konti lang. So, konti lang. Tingnan natin. Yan. Pinalaki ko lang yung eyelid niya. Okay. And then, again, blow tools ng konti. Para magpantay naman yung eyes niya. Ang dilat ng eyes. Okay. Then, itong pocket tools, ito naman yung uh, pag-clinic mo siya, it becomes the part of the the part that you want to make it small. Okay. Ito yung gagamitin mo, yung... Okay, so kunwari yung ilong. Okay, so the side, nakikita mong lumiliit, di ba? So the other side, and this one. So lumit ng konti yung, ta yung ilong niya, compare sa dati. And the rest, Ah, uh, uh, the Twitter mag mag ikot-ikot lang naman yung image na yon eh. Uh, then the other type siguro sa advanced na yon. So that's the basic. Any question again? Then press OK. So yon. Ito yung before, ito yung dati. Naka-smile na siya. Right? So question. Okay po. Any more questions for uh, Sir Nick? Any more questions, guys? So I guess, tama lang tayo. Yes. And then, okay, sir. So mukhang wala na po. So, uh, okay. uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for having me in your learning. Yes, Another sir. Learning so in behalf of the Gobian Learning Hub, uh, Training 
training center sir we would like to thank you for uh, giving us time sir you know to conduct this uh, very informative and very useful basic photography and basic editing workshop so guys uh, let's all thank mr uh, nick olayao for giving us this wonderful time thank you thank you very much po sir and we hope now we can see you uh, again po in our in other ano po um training and learning event po maraming salamat po sir nick Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you. Bye. Sige po. All right po um for all the attendees again po also we would like to uh, thank you and uh, we appreciate po your time that you have uh, given Gobian Learning Hub to share to you new knowledge po uh today um under our Marahuyo event. So our uh, Marahuyo event po is part of our continuous um uh in a, it's part of our continuous um sorry sorry no wala tayo sorry again so ayun po sorry for for technical so um Again po, thank you very much for attending our Marahuyo event which is the basic photography and uh, basic uh, Photoshop editing po. So again, uh, Marahuyo event is part of our advocacy to uh, continue our learning uh, even in this time of difficulties and um, in our time of pandemic. So this is actually po one of the first event of Marahuyo. So we will have other events po as you have uh, saw in our um, slideshows po earlier no so we will we'll still have other uh event po uh some are free events uh which is also basic for basic uh video editing that will be happening next week and then on uh then the, the week after that po we will have our technical training events po which are our paid classes uh for uh web development and uh php programming so in for other uh, for other po that are not still familiar with Gobian Learning Hub, so we are uh, an, an an IT training center po, actually located actually here in the south po. So we are located in Cavite, but uh, since this time of pandemic po that we cannot uh, conduct face to face, no, we cannot conduct face to face training. We are now conducting our trainings online. So a lot of our IT courses and I and computer training courses are now being conducted online and then uh yun nga po and then uh to give no to give uh help po to with uh with this time of difficulties we are um doing events like this no to give you free trainings but if you want to uh, explore more and uh, enroll on a formal trainings po you can go to our website which is gobeyondlearning.com ayan po nandito, nandito rin sa screen natin so gobeyondlearning.com makikita nyo po doon lahat ng courses offering namin uh, which are mostly nga po IT courses and computer courses but uh, we are now trying to uh, give other um, trainings po katulad nga po nito which are the photography and uh, basic video editing um, so we have uh, different kinds po no, of um, IT courses and trainings that are available po which you can also again you can check that out in our website and you can also follow us in our social media accounts also in we have a Facebook page go beyond learning uh, go beyond learning hub and we also have our Instagram and Twitter we also have a TikTok as well no so these are the social media platforms that we have and then um, as part po of uh, this um, event, which is the basic photography, so lahat po uh, ng uh, participants today will be receiving no um, your certificate. So um, we, you will receive another a message from us, an email message for us containing your certificate of attendance for this event. And then, not just that, since you have attended po no our event, we will give you uh, you will have a privilege po to have uh, additional discounts on our upcoming paid classes. So kapag po naka-attend kayo ng uh, any any uh, event po namin which are the, 
the free events po no you will be uh, ki, uh you will be uh, receiving po a voucher for a buy one take one of our paid classes so meaning po if ever na that you are planning to enroll for our uh, paid classes po whether this event po which is the Mara, uh, which are the marahuyo event paid classes or yung other online classes po namin so magiging uh, buy one take one po siya ibig sabihan kapag nag-enroll po kayo you can um uh you can have a, a, somebody to join you po no uh, for the training so pwedeng dalawa po kayo your friend your uh family member po so parang one tuition one uh, enrollment fee lang registration fee lang po yung babayaran niyo for two slots in our upcoming events and in, on our uh, offered online classes so again po lahat ng online classes and uh, paid events po namin are nasa Facebook page namin and nasa um, website po namin. And then if you have questions, you can uh, always send us an email. So pwede po kayo mag-send ng email dun sa uh, email address na nagsasend po sa inyo, which is our uh, uh, sales account manager, Abigail, uh, will be uh, happy no, to answer your questions. You can also... Uh, Send us a message through Viber text message, and even you can also call us in our landline number. No, to um, if you have inquiries and questions for other classes. No, so yung po all our classes, by the way, are conducted by our certified instructors. So yung mga IT courses po namin are all uh, conducted by certified uh, IT IT instructors po. Uh, and certified uh, IT instructor. So if ever po that you get uh, to have our training, you can directly proceed by uh, taking certifications exams kasi po certified yung mga trainers namin to conduct po trainings, IT trainings, and then that we can provide you po if you want to uh, level up your IT uh, and computer courses po for uh, certification purposes for upping your career and your skills. So yun po, meron po ba tayong questions dito wala naman so yun again po thank you very much din po and again we hope to see you po in uh, in our uh, other upcoming events which is next week so if hindi pa po kayo naka-register go ahead and go to our website and register po for another uh, set of events and again if you have inquiries to our paid classes as well you can also send us a message so thank you very much everybody and we'll see you on our next event